Let's continue our math adventure. Today our mission is to solve two-step equations. Now, whenever we have two-step equations, it means that we just have two operations. One of them has to be addition or subtraction. The other one has to be multiplication or division. And whenever we are solving our two-step equations, we're reversing out of the order of operations. So we start at the bottom, and our first job is to inverse out of the addition or subtraction. So we always start on the side that has the variable. And when I take a look at this variable, I see this negative 19 is attached to it. And I need to get rid of that negative 19. So if I cover up that second part of that equation, I think to myself, well, how do I get rid of negative 19? Well, I'm going to add 19. But the second I added 19, my balance went out of balance for my equation. And my job is to always pull that equation back into balance. So whatever I do on one side of that equal sign, I have to do on the other side of that equal sign. We know that when we use inverse operations, those inverse operations cancel each other out. So that negative 19 disappears. But what's still left on this side of the equation, it's negative x divided by 7. Now on the other side of the equal sign, I have negative 5, which are my reds, and I have positive 19. So I know that those reds and blacks are going to cancel each other out. So negative 5 plus 19 is a positive 14. But I'm not done yet. That was just my step one. So my second step is I'm going to have to reverse out my multiplication or division. Now when I look at this, I see negative x divided by 7. So the inverse operation of division is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply by 7, but the second I did that, I went out of balance. And in order to pull myself back into balance, I need to do exactly the same thing on the other side. So when I do my inverse, they're going to cancel those 7s out and I'm left with negative x. On this side, I'm going to use my mental math. So 70 times, 7 times 10 is 70. 7 times 4 is 28. 70 plus 28 is 98. But I have a problem because I don't want to know what the opposite of x is. I want to know what x is. And so in order to know what x is, I'm going to multiply by negative 1. But whatever I do on one side, I'm going to do on the other. Because by multiplying a negative times a negative, I get a positive. So I'm left with my positive x. And now I do a negative times a positive, I'm left with a negative 98. So in the end, I know that x equals negative 98. Now it's your turn.